Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I had so much fun the other day showing you what I ate in Costa Rica that I decided to do a regular what I eat in a day here in my home in Toronto. Today I have the day off from all of my outside jobs so I'm just going to be doing work from home and mostly staying in because it's quite blizzardy outside. So I'm going to be staying in and showing you everything that I eat today. For breakfast I'm going to be having some chia seed pudding that I started making last night. And for the chia seed pudding, I just mixed the plant milk with the chia seeds. You do it a 1 to 6 ratio, so I did 6 tablespoons of chia seeds for 2 cups of liquid. And I made mine matcha flavor, so I just added 1 tablespoon of maple syrup and 2 tablespoons of matcha powder. Then I made toast. Just waiting for my toast. Okay, so now I'm all ready to eat my breakfast. I have my matcha chia seed pudding. Mm. This is the first time I've made this, and if you haven't tried making chia pudding with matcha, I honestly so recommend it. Like, it tastes like I'm eating this dessert. And then I got my avocado toast. Mmm. Can't go wrong. Okay, so I've been working for a while. It's almost 3 o'clock now and I haven't ate since breakfast. So it's definitely time to take a snack lunch break. Luckily for me, I have some food prepped in the fridge that I'm going to plate and show to you because I'm really feeling this work day and want to keep at it. So I'm not going to be cooking, but I'm going to show you what I'm eating right now. Here it is. It is some vegan potato salad that I made, kind of based on the minimalist baker recipe, but I made it my own with whatever I had to use up in the fridge. I have some plain chickpeas. I don't know what it is, but lately I just want to eat plain chickpeas. Like, my body's really craving that. I don't know if you guys have experienced that. And some fruit, and I am drinking a glass of some homemade raspberry kombucha that I made. So yeah, this is my colorful, beautiful plate. As you can see, my diet inspo is child. Mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. I had some veganaise in the fridge and that's what inspired me to make this potato salad because I don't really like the taste of mayo but I love it only in potato salad or chickpea salad so I'm just pretending it's summer like you guys can't see but it's like so snowy outside and I'm just eating my picnic lunch happy as can be and I love making my own kombucha it's actually a lot easier than you'd think and it's just tasty. I like having a nice, like, flavorful drink. Hello again. I just did a bunch more work, and now I'm actually going to a meeting. But I have a more full evening than I knew I had before. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a snack to bring. I'm just bringing this Lara bar because I might be super hungry later. You never know. I'm not hungry right now. That lunch really did fill me up. But I'm going out into the world. <laughs> Hey guys, I am back. It's nighttime now, as you can see by my change of lighting. I actually had a productive afternoon. I went and saw an apartment because I am moving uh, in with my boyfriend soon. And then I had a last minute client message me for a tarot reading. So we just finished up a reading. This is what it looks like when I do a reading for someone. But I haven't eaten dinner yet. And it's 9 o'clock. I didn't think that would happen, but I did have that Lara bar and I had the latte. I'm actually not very hungry, but I am going to eat a little something because I probably won't eat anything more before I go to bed in a couple hours. So I'll show you what I whip up. 
It's strange though, because I'm not very hungry and I try to listen to my body and not like force myself to eat when I'm not hungry or force myself to not eat when I am hungry. Um, I guess I did have a pretty filling lunch, but I am gonna eat a little something. I feel like I should. I know it's not the most interesting dinner, but seriously, I don't know why, but I'm really not hungry. I just made this chickpea salad with tomatoes and red onions and some balsamic and I'm gonna eat that just so there's something in my stomach and I won't get hungry later when I'm trying to go to bed and I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you enjoyed my first regular Toronto at home what I eat in a day let me know if you want more and definitely subscribe and always let me know if you want a specific type of video in the comments or just leave a little bit about yourself so I can get to know you Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have an amazing night. Bye.